Hello traders, this is Fawad Razak Zada, Market Analyst for City Index. Today is the 16th of October 2023. So risk sentiment has improved uh, slightly. We are looking at equity indices uh, showing slight gains on the day, as you can see on this Nasdaq chart. Um, in addition, um, crude oil prices have fallen slightly um, and gold has eased off as well following its big gains on Friday. So there's been no fresh news uh, regarding the Madrid situation to drive sentiment, but that remains the key focus for the markets. On the macro front, uh, we have a few data releases this week, including retail sales and industrial production from the US and a few Chinese economic pointers, which could impact the markets. What's more, the earnings season has started. And last week, we heard from a few banks reporting their results on Friday, and they were decent. The, the results were better than expected. This week, uh, we'll have uh, the likes of Bank of America, Morgan Stanley, and Goldman Sachs reporting. And then the focus will turn to uh, technology stocks with uh, Tesla and Netflix among the reporters to watch out for. So naturally, the NASDAQ is the go-to chart for us. And right now, it is back up to test the base of the breakdown at around 15,100 or so. This level is now going to be the most important short-term resistance level to watch. On the downside, the next key level to watch is at around 14,900, which is the high from this candle, uh, which was previously resistance. We broke above this area. The market hasn't come back down to be retested from up above yet. So that could be the next uh, support level to watch. But if you ignore the short-term volatility, you can see that the NASDAQ is stuck in a consolidation pattern over the last several weeks and it needs to basically break out of this um, zone um, on the upside to confirm a bullish reversal but for as long as the index holds within this, these converging trend lines then there's a risk that we could see some weakness come into the market moving forward in terms of the fx markets um, the euro dollar as uh, you may recall, printed a hammer candle a couple of weeks ago. And we were looking to see if there would be any upside uh, follow through uh, above that week's high at, uh, at around 106. Well, last week, uh, the euro dollar did try to go above that level for, for a while, but then it turned lower. And once it went below the 106 level, it just continued to head lower and eventually closed the week with an inverted hammer candle, uh, suggesting that the um, bullish signal that uh, was created the week before proved to be a trap for the bulls. So uh, key support uh, at 105 is still the level to watch on the downside. This level has been tested on a number of occasions um, in the previous few weeks. So far, uh, the market holding above it on a weekly closing basis. But if the market breaks below this level, then that could pave the way for a, a bigger drop perhaps towards the 61.8% um, Fibonacci retracement level at around 102, which is going to be the next key level of potential support to watch. But that's a long way away from where we are at the moment. So um, just keep an eye on the 105 handle for the time being. Also keep an eye on crude oil prices. Uh, Brent oil here um, showing a slight weakness following the big 5% rally on Friday. Crude oil is going to be impacted by the uh, conflict in the Middle East. And if tensions rise there, then that could further underpin oil prices, leading to concerns about inflation and whatnot. And that in turn could cause lots of volatility for the markets. For more analysis, make sure to check out the news and analysis section at cityindex.com.